Hey everyone guys, uh, Red Gamer here, going again with our indie highlight series. This time playing a game I have had a chance to see through an alpha, had a chance to talk with a developer, and extremely excited for. Um, it definitely hits a lot of that kind of creative elements that you see in games like Minecraft. So the game, as you can see up on the screen, is called Reassembly. Uh, now the game just recently entered beta through early access on Steam. Um, you can see the beta build here is November 26th. I uh, recently got access to it. If you happen to tune into my extra live stream, you may have seen us actually play around with this game a little bit during the sleep-deprived notions of me. So you may have seen part of it as well. Uh, we're going to start from the beginning to kind of showcase some of the game and some of the features with it, but uh, we'll get into it then. So uh, Before I actually started too, I do want to mention, uh, if you didn't get a chance to fully watch our stream last week, or if you kind of caught in the middle part where we had the disconnect issues, we did get a chance to actually record it and upload it up on YouTube, so you can find that over on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash ugamingelite. I got the whole one up there, so it's a full, basically, recording of the stream. I cut out some of the breaks in between and try to chop it down, so it lands at right about an hour, but, I mean, obviously, it's a full render of a stream, so feel free to take a look if you haven't seen it. Uh, the game we did last week was Never Alone, which was a great, great, beautiful indie game uh, done kind of in partnership to bring the Alaskan culture together and really just a really well done game. I was quite impressed. So beyond that, guys, a uh, couple other things with it too. I know we've been having some audio issues, so if you're in the chat, guys, please let me know how the audio is coming through. Uh, we do have a new headset, courtesy of Razer. Um, they're actually hooking us up with an affiliate program and everything too, so props to them. It's the new Chrome, or the new uh, little flashy one, so you get the little colors showing up. Um, it's actually kind of a nice headset. I'm, I'm relatively impressed so far with it, but most importantly is how the audio comes through, so let me know. Um, there's a lot of features and settings that can kind of adjust to equalize it, and I haven't had a chance to test them all. So, with that, we're going to jump into it here. I mentioned I, I'll pull up a new one here. What is your name? Ooh, that's a tough question. Hmm. I don't know, I'm bad at this. Eh, we'll stick with my normal. Why not just use my gamer tag with it? Favorite color? Well, obviously we're going to go with a dark teal blue. I mean, come on. That just makes too much sense, right? <laughs> Secondary color. Ooh, it's too black. No, black looks kind of stupid on that. Let's do a gray. There we go. I like that. We'll go with that. So if you know nothing about this game, uh, it's kind of titled itself as a space exploration open world style game. That's really kind of the best way to describe it so far. But the game itself is very much based kind of in free creativity and and kind of all the elements along that so um i do want to preface again with this is a beta build guys so there may be issues and glitches that show up with it um, so bear with me if we have some issues um, i'm also still working on some of the video stuff and it's my first time streaming it so similar colored ships are your friends everyone else is your enemy oh, ha ha maybe that bottom left oh that's okay so game kind of starts off as yeah it's basically a space exploration um style with it oh game is being a little laggy here i don't know why i ran it earlier and it seemed to run fine so i'm trying to figure out why it's doing this hmm it might just be part of this kind of tutorial piece but i don't know there we go now it seems to be catching up weird oops as i crashed in my own chips so yeah, so mouse wheel zooms the camera in so you can kind of see around with it. Um, beginning of it's kind of simple to get kind of used to the game, but as you kind of saw, the keys control the ship, fly it around, and mouse uh, shoots it around as, or uh, aims the directions with it. Main cannon fire by the left, you've also got secondaries on the right. Now that's all simple and basic and blah -de blah -de blah the stuff you'd see in all of them. However, we're going to show the whole point behind this game very quick and right away. So you press 1 and you go into the ship editor. This is honestly where the game is captured my interest and I think will capture anyone's interest. If you've ever played Minecraft or played with Legos when you were a kid or have any sort of creative attitude whatsoever, um, you're going to enjoy this game from this piece alone a bit. The addictive kind of building part is awesome because it doesn't have the restrictions you see with a lot of ship builders. So, try uh, blocks from the pallet on the right. So you have a peak quotient that's basically upgraded as you go through. Um, you kill their ships, you gain resources, and you kind of put it all together. Um, you can see the little thing up here in the top left corner here is your P factor. Each one of these items over here has kind of a limit to it. And then, of course, yeah, you can upgrade it through uh, the use screen. Drag function, it's got a bunch of different things, too. You can you can clone pieces, rotate them, kind of flip them on a plane as well to make it fit. Um, and a bunch of other ones. And all these can be found in the menus, too, if you ever need to reference them again. So here's the basic ship they give you with it. Um, it kind of gives you a basic design with it, but here's kind of the fun part of it. You have to think of a ship design 
kind of in a way you maybe aren't used to or haven't done before, specifically in terms of how thrusters and whatnot work. So if you think about an actual, if you know anything about actual rockets or ship design, um, you know, maybe you built the Starship Enterprise in your basement one day. You need thrusters in different ways to have retro rockets and to be able to change your pitch and direction. This has that built in with different rockets and stuff around the edge. Um, one quick sec, guys. I'm realizing I forgot to do something. Uh -huh. Sorry. There we go. Good. Forgot I wanted to uh, update our module on the website. There we go. My bad. All right. So you have a bunch of different things you can do with it, and as you can see, there's a bunch of different upgrades you can do as well. So you brings up this upgrade menu, which has just a ton of different things you can do, a ton of different pieces that kind of fall into it, and some items that you haven't unlocked yet. So um, if we go back to, I think, one will do it. Oops, no, it won't. There we go. Okay, so it just escapes back out of the menu. My bad. There's a lot of items we have here that if we go to the upgrade screen, I don't have. So mine layer, there's the rocket launcher, the factory, a bunch of different items. I don't necessarily have yet that you can unlock as you play through. I also believe. Uh, let me. Let's do an. Or, sorry, my bad. Not what I wanted to do. If we do. I'm trying to remember exactly. But I think it's. I don't remember. Uh, there's a way to kind of get. You basically, you can save a bunch of different ones at once. I don't remember exactly how to get to that. I'll have to check that later. But so you kind of get this whole different uh, description. You can basically build your ship from a different ideas. So, I just want to back out of it because uh, this whole thing kind of tutorializes wise. You can see kind of the little tutorial stuff over on the right here. Um, teaches the basics and then talks about the resources. So, we're going to kind of go through some of the part tutorial with the ship that we're given to start with just to kind of introduce the game. Uh, as you can kind of see the different, yeah, the different elements with it. So, the different thrusters. Oh, jeez. And as I crash into something like an idiot. You get the different thrusters in the setups with that. Mini map kind of helps you bring stuff around with it. M gives you a nice giant one. You can see the area is actually relatively huge to work with too. And here's the kind of thing that's neat. So difficulty increases as you approach the center. So you want to stay towards the edges when you're starting. Different things, you'll run into huge ships and huge spawners and all the different pieces of it. So for right now, we got fly newest spawner, green diamond to trade R for C. So what you do is you pick up these resources you go through as you, you blow up ships or you just find them kind of sitting around and then you want to turn them into something else. Well, hold on, guys. This is. I don't know why. I'm just fine earlier. I'm going to pull her off the full screen window here and see if that helps at all. I think it's either that or it's something with the stream. I may have to turn down the stream settings a little bit. Or let's say the stream rendering. It seems to be affecting the game a little more than I'd like. That's definitely. A lot more responsive than this. All right, um, I have to restart the stream, guys. One second here. No, no, crashing everything. So as you can see, these are your own ships. Um, obviously, I can't shoot them, which is kind of nice too. And I love. Wow. Okay. Anybody play StarCraft? Thinking Battle Cruiser right there? I don't know. It totally just looks like that for a second to me. And so you got a bunch of different resources you can kind of collect. Um, start to kind of move. Oops. No. Move towards the center a bit here. And so there's a bunch of resources that just kind of float around like that as well. All right, so find a spawner, green diamonds. Let's head one towards one of the spawners. We have a few resources. Oh. Uh, slow down. I'm gonna crash right into it. All right, so this is a spawner. So there's a couple things to know about that. So the spawner will actually spawn you if you die. You actually get reassembled. Ah, it's like the name. Um, so you kind of get reassembled, but it's also used as you just saw to drop off the resource as well. So now our R has gone down and we've gotten credits. Reason why that matters is the credits are used to purchase the different upgrades with it. So you need to trade in your kind of resources to do that. So as it says, earn by destroying ships. So we'll go into an area with another ship. Oh, I like that update to it. That is kind of cool. So when you, yeah, if you target onto a ship, you'll see it kind of brings it up. But also, it's a bunch of other ships. Now, these are all replicas of ones you've made or are, in this case, just the preset ones that'll just show up. Pew pew. Q 
pew pew. Um, <laughs> I've just made your day. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. That's all I'm about. Make people's days as I crash and everything. Ah, no, 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 no. Um, one of the cool features I know he's hoping to try to implement eventually, and I don't know if it's in there yet. I haven't, I haven't actually checked yet, but he wants to do kind of a static multiplayer uh, built into the system so that other people's ships can get generated in your own universe, which would be kind of cool. So you can see a bunch of random ships flying around, whether they're enemies or friendly. That'll be other people's designs, and there's an entire community aspect built around that as well. Um, I have a hard time believing... I have a really hard time actually believing that you know this is not going to kind of expand into one of those where people are going to post their crazy ship ideas on on Facebook and all the other places. I mean, heck, we see crazy stuff with uh, Minecraft all the time. So, all right, so you can see it's kind of the levels of the ships kind of go up. So these are actually some these are actually some brutal ships. I might get blown to. Oh God, no, 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 no! I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh crap! Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, crap. One of the things that's kind of cool, too, I don't know if I'll get a good chance to show it. You can kind of see it. Um, so as you get, you take damage, parts of your ship will break off. So like you can see the cannon just pulled off. Oh, God. Pulled off the top of it. Um, and then your, your ship will eventually start to reassemble, rebuild itself. And so it makes it kind of neat, and so you have to build some redundancy. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. That's MLG Pro right there, guys. <laughs> Alright. Gather up some of the resources here. Did not think I was actually going to destroy that thing. I really thought I was going to get screwed. <laughs> Alright. Now we've got a bit of the C, we've got a bit of the R. I want to try to see if I can show... So what you can do is you can capture these spawners and make them your own then too. And basically you kind of reclaim part of the area as well. No, 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 no. Don't die. Nice. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was something or not. So we're going to try to head towards this blue diamond. With all these enemies. Ooh, that hurt a bit. Oh, crap. Oops. Nice, all right, so there we go. Now we got a bunch of resources with it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fly back to one of the spawners so I can turn it into credits again. Try not to crash in the process. Ah! I'm not very good at the whole not crashing thing. I'm not slow and steady, not die. <laughs> Coming in for a slow duck. All right, there we go. There's the exchange. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to pull up the upgrade system. So, we got 330 credits. All right, actually, let's um let's take a look at what we can do to rebuild our ship first. It's um it's a little CPU intensive right now, mostly because uh, the fact that it's a beta and the fact that I'm trying to run the stream on a high compression, I think is kind of hurting it a little bit. Um, but other than that, I mean, the game size itself is about 140 megabytes, so it's relatively small. So I don't see it being too intensive of it. I'm also running quite a few things in the background right now that are kind of taking a little bit of the power out of it. But uh, let me pull up what's my. Um... Yeah, you know, it, at, at this point of it right now, it's we're looking at I'm running about 45 percent of my CPU. So figure probably 35 percent of that's my is the streaming program anyway. So not super CPU intensive. Um, part of the reason, too, is it, it doesn't generate the whole world at once. I don't think it's kind of the way it seems. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but it seems to be that way, at least with it. One second. I want to remember. There's a way to just. I want to create a brand new ship. That child ship and current ship. View ships three. Okay, there we go. I knew it was one of those buttons. All right. So here's kind of thing I was talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah, potato could probably play it. Uh, where that'll fall as the game gets finished, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, uh, I I am in contact actually. Uh, the developer that I talked to is a guy named Arthur. Um, he's kind of the main guy behind this. Uh, part of a company. Um, as well, kind of a group between a bunch of different companies that have worked on this. I got a chance to meet him down at IndieK and talk to him a little bit about the game, so I know a bit about that realm of it. But what the actual full demand will be, I don't know. Um, again, keep in mind it's a beta, so it's going to be more demanding now because things aren't optimized and like, but I don't see it being hugely demanding. But who knows, it'll show up as well. 
So, we're going to start from scratch. This is probably the most fun, and I've already burned way too many hours <laughs> doing stuff like this. Oh, it's sad. But, so you got a bunch of items you can get with it, and of course the upgrade screen here as well to bring in new ones, which is where those credits come in from. Let's see what we can build without it. And you'll see different pieces will add stuff to it. Most structural elements don't add any of your, uh, your, your P points. They don't take up anything. but you can do a bunch of different stuff. And what's nice, the more hall stuff you put on there, of course, the more structural it'll be, and all the different elements with it. Yeah, it's very nice. It is on Steam right now, by the way, Early Access. Um, if you're interested, I think the Early Access cost right now is $30. I'll um, get you into it as he's doing all the different changes and whatnot um, into the piece of it. I don't know if he's planning on doing any sales with it anytime soon. Um, I don't 100% know, but on the same boat, uh, we are running a promotion with it right now. Uh, yeah, I know the HUD does cover a bit of the screen. Um, it was kind of the best way to make it fit. Uh, most of the stuff that's being covered is not really mattering at this point, so I just kind of left it that way. Um, that being said with it, uh, we are doing a promotion and giving away a copy of the game as well. Uh, we're doing basically giveaways every 50 uh, viewers on the stream right now. So every excuse me, 50 followers on the stream. So as we hit 50 with it, we are looking at giving away a copy. Um, I do want to give away a copy of this game. I have a couple extra ones to give away. So tell your friends, follow if you don't follow us. If anybody's watching right now and you're not following us right now, click that follow button. As soon as we hit 50, we will be giving away a copy of the game to anyone that's in the stream. We also have other games to give away as well. Otherwise, like I said, you can pick it up on uh, Steam through Early Access right now. I don't want to do that. Different size thrusters. Put a little power on the back. So yeah, the thrusters add to the points of it. You want the generator because that'll actually hold power and also holds and stores items too. And of course, you need weaponry. Oh my goodness. Uh, container is also important. That was the other part too. This will actually store your resources. Bang! I've had kind of an, I've, I've had a bunch of ideas of what I want to do with these ships, and I played around with so many stupid different ones before. So it's kind of like a trying to think of what I want to do. I'm gonna go with my my thoughts here on this. No, I can't. There we go. Oops, um, actually, you know what? I, I might live in this one, I think. Okay. Granted, I haven't put weapons on yet. That's probably why. Yeah, and like I said, as I mentioned before, that you do actually want to have the retro thrusters. Otherwise, you will get into a lot of trouble trying to turn around. I mean, you can do kind of like a quick swipe and whatnot, but yeah, that's always risky to do. Containers can be covered because it's just storing. Dude, let's do a solid core here to give it some armor. Yeah, if you're not having to worry about aerodynamics. <laughs> All right, plasma cannon in the center. Missile launchers are those secondary ones. I thought earlier with it. Oops, nope, I want. Hatch. There, there we go. We can fire those off with it. Bam. I like that. All right, we need thrusters in the front so we can actually have some braking power. If you stack thrusters, it does add to the power of the thruster as well. A little more armor in the back here so we don't lose our containers necessarily. Now that looks stupid. <laughs> Alright, we got cannons with missile launchers. What do I got for 219? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. An auto cannon if I had some good to place it. You know what? Actually, let's um let's reset this up. I'm gonna put the missiles in the back. There, I like that idea. Nice. Yeah, so this gives us our okay, so our capacity. Nice. I think what I'm gonna do though is we're gonna extend this a little bit here.
Oops. No. There we go. Make this thing be able to store for a while, why not? What is kind of cool is if you don't have it perfectly even, it'll snap too really nicely as well. It is actually, I mean, the interface is very well designed, very simple, real easy to use, which is kind of nice. Even there's a lot of modern games that haven't really seemed to catch on to that yet. All right, oops, no. Um, I think Alt does it. No. I try to remember, what's the resize one again? Editor. Do, do, do. Yeah, upscale down. Okay, I can't go smaller than that, darn. Eh, let's not do that. Yeah, this, yeah, scaling up is. Yeah, I learned. Yeah, he mentioned that to me when I was when he was showing it to me, and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of useful. Oops. Like this. All right, let's do. I get those which will help with turning. Not the most elegant looking one, you know, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Go with functional or anything else. All right. This is kind of cool. I like this feature a lot, actually, too, with it. So you can run a test, which will basically just, it'll pit your ship kind of an AI versus an AI and see how it holds. Oh, jeez. Well, that got kind of destroyed pretty quick. <laughs> wow. Alright, looks like the maneuverability is gonna is a little killed on it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna save it anyways and see what happens. All right, and so what you need in here, so here's your current design. This will happen if basically you try to rebuild your ship or you tell it to create your ship currently. And then you can also do a child design, which is what it'll spawn out if you wanted to specifically. Oops. These three ones are pretty cool. All right, and then I love that too. Then so it'll blow everything up and then it'll basically rebuild your ship right there alive, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see how she maneuvers for me. Actually, I kind of like that. Oh, helps if I don't fly into... Oh, I love the cannons in the front there. And missiles out the back. Ah, I like this. Okay. It may not have done well against AI, but screw you, AI. I like it. <laughs> All right. Let's see how she works practically. Wow. That's a nice amount of, of resources I can take, too. Not a lot of good braking power, though. I got to keep that in mind. Those, those thrusts on the front don't do a whole lot right now. Yeah, she has virtually zero braking power here. Come, okay. I mean, I may want to change that up. Get to, oh, that's okay. So this is an enemy spawner. Get in the range of it, and you activate it. Or I guess it's a neutral spawner. I guess would be probably a better way to say it. And that'll give you credits, which is always nice. Ooh, put up! No. Oh crap, there's a lot of them around here. Ah! Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna... <laughs> Jeez. Alright, they had a bigger gun than me. <laughs> In case that wasn't super obvious, right? <laughs> Ooh, whoa! Oh, that's right, I forgot that I just activated that one. All right, let it, oh my goodness.
Oh, crap. Ugh. Okay, kamikaze doesn't work. <laughs> I wish it did. Oh, man. Spawning right with those things shooting at me is not really cool. All right, I'm going to try to get out of here and... Oof, that didn't work so well. We're going to try to upgrade, see if we can get some better stuff to work with here. Still in enemy territory. That's at least a weaker ship, I think. Oops. Yeah, crashing into my ship, not always the best strategy. Get back here. Oh, I'm gonna run into the <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness, it's not working out well. Got it. Oh, I was gonna say narrowly dodge those bricks, that didn't work. Alright, let's pull up the upgrade menu here and see if we can get something better. Okay, that's a bigger plasma cannon, gotcha. Oh, antimatter, nice. Deadly in quantity, okay. I don't have nearly enough credits for a lot of these things. Okay, I gotta get more credits. Like, so, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try from scratch again here. See if I can. More the better plan. Just fly it like that, right? Just have it move around like that, put thrusters around it. <laughs> Never know, it could work. All right, let's try to make a beast of one that I can just gather a bunch of stuff with. All right, so there's that. Cover it up here, though. You can see, too, the different items are different regrowth. So, like, that has, you know, less mass, less health to it. As well, but then it'll regrow faster. So sometimes if you want like a you know thinner hull, then you can put you know more thrusters, better maneuverability, and speed on it, as opposed to basically having like a tank of a ship. Yeah, again, whatever you want to do, really. Curious how that would look. I think my last time, because I think I never power for it was part of the problem. for less weight. I think the background music but it's just kind of it's kind of like yeah <laughs> okay let's actually look at these two here damage 10 rounds 30 rounds 4 rounds per second actually yeah 
yes. Okay, so this is the one that has a little bit of splash to it. So I thought. That right in the center. little thrusters to help out. Oops, new out there. There we go. Fire off double miss like that. I don't like it. Yeah, and for, that is kind of the downside with the Kickstarters. You know, that was the advantage they gave for it. Um, it is a bit expensive for 30 I will give you that, that the price is a little high with it. Um, whether or not that'll come down, that could be as well. I, I, I could see that piece of it, but look at it this way. Um, I always kind of get this comment when it comes to indie titles and indie games in general. You know, these people put a lot of time, a lot of effort into the work they do. And a lot of time goes into putting this game together. And, you know, they don't have a marketing team. They don't have people to help sell it. So you're, you're kind of putting that into it, but think about the percentage of that money that's going towards the developer, as opposed to when you pay $60 for a AAA game. I can almost guarantee you that 30 bucks, more of that money is going towards the developer than the other part of it. Right triangle. Huh? Huh? Oh, I see what you're saying, okay. Nah, I might leave it that way either way. I don't want to mirror it. I want to leave it the way I have it. <laughs> but no, I mean, like I said, the price is kind of up there with it. But uh, honestly, I mean, I've, I mean, even in the alpha alone, I, I was, I easily got five, six, seven, eight hours just playing around with the alpha and kind of getting used to the game. That was before I even did anything. That was before I actually went into it and started actually playing with the different features and getting used to the upgrades and different systems you could build. You, know, you, you kind of got to get an each your own out of what you want out of the game. And that's that, that's always been kind of my perspective on games like this. Some people think that's worth it. Some people kind of look at that and go, no, that's that's way too much money and, and, and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I mean, again, to each their own with it. All right, I'm going to... Oops. I want to see how this... Oh. Oh, I didn't realize it was over my limit. Ha, I wasn't paying attention to it. Whoops. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, so I need the credits. Now can I build it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go, now I can build it. <laughs> I like how many resources this thing can pull. I want to see what I think about the slower cannon versus the fast one. Interesting, okay. Okay, so factory. Oh yeah, that's one thing I would... Which is the factory blocks? I do want to get that soon. 900 credits. Okay, so let's go and harvest some shit. Ooh, I like this one. This one handles actually a lot better than I thought. Ooh, doesn't turn very well though. I love the auto cannons. Oh, I'm gonna crash right into that. Shoot. No, my cannons need to rebuild. <laughs> there we go. 
Alright. Ooh, that's not good. That's gonna blow me up. Yep. Shoot. Oh, and you lose all those resources too. So when I turn... No, oh, she seems to turn decently. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. Alright, one. I don't have enough things to do what I want to do with it, but I can burn one or two of these to do what I'm thinking. These Angular control out of it here. Oh, that's nice, actually. Nice. Although, I guess I don't like the slower cannons that much. Concentrated fire, I like that. All right. Oh, I like that control much better. Right into that bugger. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I can't get around it. Oh, that's oh, narrow dodge. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm dead. Wider and just the two center bulk. Ah, uh, you bastard! Oh, no, 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 not good. Yeah, now, now it is lagging a bit. Hmm. Oh, that's not a good thing to run into. <laughs> and there goes half my ship. Oh, yeah, that's not... Well, shit.
Oh man. This ship sucks. I like this idea where the whole thing's breaking off. Fence cannon and the flat cannon are auto fire. Let's um change this up here a bit. Yeah, I kinda figured that out. Alright with that one. Nice, there we go. See that that fire helps at all. Yeah, see that's just not that's just not fair. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'm going somewhere else. I don't like this area anymore. Another ship in front of me. Move right now, damn. Don't crash into the There we go, I like that a lot better. Oops, oh, I ran a few too many though. Ooh. Not cool. Alright, rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Can't tell if that's the one that. Oh, oh that answers that question. Ugger. I think fire's way too bad. Oh, my weapons are gone. No. Oh. Yeah. That was one of my partnerships. Oh, that was a nice resource pull. All right, let's go turn those into credits before I lose them. Yeah, I die. <laughs> As knowing me, that's exactly what would happen. <laughs> Ooh, he's. No, 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 no. Can't move, I can't move. Oh, child ship to save the day. Good, just hoping I get those shots off through that. Whew. And yes, you can gather resources from planets too. It's like you fly by them and you'll actually you'll, you'll pull them off the planets. Another kind of easier way to get resources. Wee. Oh, that's actually a good collection up there. Yeah, find space debris, of course, and everything like that.
I like the maneuverability debugger a lot better. Oh, that's, that's a nice hunk of debris. That's weird. Huh, not expecting that. Yeah, this sector's a lot more my speed. <laughs> As opposed to the one where I'm getting destroyed the whole time. Nice, I'll just spot it to it. Go, go, go! Ugh, now it's lagging a bit. Jeez. I can't figure out why. Nothing's really pulling too many processes at once. Could be multiple things. I'm not sure I know. Crashing into something. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one to navigate into with this kind of ship. Jeez. No! Turn those auto on. Yay! Alright, I need 900 for the factory, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. A little ways to go here. Kill the lag a little bit. Pull out the chat from the Twitch and stop running the stream itself, see if that helps. Like I said, I am trying a new compression on the stream too, which might not be helping. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. No. Come on, come on, rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Those are all missiles, too. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow. There's a sh there already. Out of the stream of fire. Oh no, I have no cannons left. No. Come on, missiles, do your job. Thank you. Hey, but my missiles. Oh, when I got other missiles flying at me. Oh, I didn't even see you. Or you. Oh, bugger. Come on. Son of a gun. And always too. Oh, 
Oh, that is a big ship. Oh, God. It... What the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me here. Wow, just the core survived. Oh, I'm not gonna last, though. Oh, come on, I caught it on my own. Come on, come on. Oh, no, I am stuck, not cool. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Oh. Boom. I'm not sure why my cannon's pink. It's like it's still from an enemy. I wonder, that might be... That's kind of funny if it is. You. Oh, that's not good. Oh, fly away. Okay, well, try to fly away without crashing. <laughs> That's not cool. Clear out some space here. Factory balance. Three of rockets. I both need to see these two. I think I actually never tried these.
Alright, see how that works. Oh, better controller now. Ooh, actually, a lot better controller. Doesn't it? Doesn't I don't know. It seems to be a little too. There's those drones. <laughs> drones! Okay, so how do I fire the rockets? Oh, the rockets fire! Ah! Oh, that's kind of cool. Interesting. All right. <laughs> nice. idea for one now. Okay, now I now I gotta try something different. Now that I've now they got the rockets in there.
Actually. Eh, that works. <laughs> nice. So, same thing. I'm slow sometimes. See where that goes. <laughs> oh, I like it. Now the question is, how does she control? Ooh, satellite. <laughs> okay, drones are cool, but I like this so far. much better control with this. Oof. Spins a little too, I think I put a little too much on the edge. Yeah, it's not a forward push, so it wants to spin the ship. I might suck. I want to know where I'm heading towards. Good, not good. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that was pro. Oh, 
that was I push myself backward and do that again. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it's like I need that center one. What do I have in the center again? I just got the cannon, right? Those are at an angle. It's like I need something here that lets me straight. Or, you know what? I think it might just be that there's too much here. There we go, I guess we're more of a hard stop. Missiles. Oh my goodness. The damage of those missiles. The range alone is worth it. Holy crap. I am maneuveringly dodging a lot of these. Oop, nope, not too far. Nope, forward, forward, forward. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Wow, I actually pulled that together. I think I may have actually found a good ship. Uh, these are specific ones that don't track. They're you can put two in the front that are basically can fire continuously like that. They just don't. Tra they don't home. It's one of the new upgrades I just bought. Oop, no, 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 not good, not good, not good, not good. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I love the extra armor on this one and the extra speed. Oh, yes. Oops, got my way. Oh, yeah. Now I'm the IP one. Or the OP one, excuse me. Is that Wait a minute. No, that was okay. That was a different one. I thought, I thought that was a different design I did. Interesting idea. Whee! There we go. Turn that stuff in. Not gonna, gonna, good. Back it up. Shoot! Oh, I didn't see the laser. No problem, man. Go for it. Oh, 
Good to hear. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> wow. That was a hell of a shot. Okay, I'm going to try something a little different here with it. Basically, a long range kind of attack. Eleven hundred. Some of them more range. Those are actually worth it back there. Ah, no, they like that one. So let's, let's we'll run four missile setups here instead. I'm debating, I'm debating about burning the kids out this point. Oh crap, I'm stuck between two of them. No! Go, 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 go! Oh! Wait, what? What, he shoot through me? <laughs> Look, he kind of shot through me or something. What the hell? I don't, think those def I don't think the defense cans are doing me much because I'm never, if I'm, especially if I'm doing long range, I'm not going to get close enough to it. It's worth it, I think. Okay, I can't do it with those, but. if that even makes any sense. I guess I should be able to do
here if there's any more. Hmm. I don't know. You know, it's like... Thinking. <laughs> Sorry, someone just said. Alright, I gotta think. I don't know if I want to say it. It's like I don't. It's like such a silly idea, but I kind of like it. Oh, that could be interesting too. What if we did? We added. Oh, those cost way too much. If that gives me anything. Make the whole thing just like you know, a long range destroyer. I feel like I should have more protection by. I want to get more protection back around. get blown up right now. Come on, careful. Yeah. Not those lasers. <laughs> Wow, that was...
Urgh. Accuracy sucks. Man, I gotta track better here. Oh crap. Nope. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> ah! Hey, hey! Oh, man. Alright, I gotta do something different with that. I don't like not having any protection back here. Not like that. All right, we'll bring these back over here. Sideways. There we go. Enough for, okay, good idea. Okay, because then we'll have straight on, and also get tracking. So I don't like the fact that they can get so. Ah, not anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't have the factory yet, unfortunately. Screwing around with other things first. Give it a try once and see just how it maneuvers first. I don't know how I'm going to stream tonight. Um, I've been going for about 90 minutes here with it, and this is about usually when I kind of cut it. Um, cause I got other stuff to do. Um, plus, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be streaming it, but I've got I got a couple other games in the queue I gotta play tonight. Um, so I'm actually probably gonna be done streaming pretty soon. But uh, to be honest with you, I will. Um, we're introducing a whole new stream day as well. So we've got Mondays that we're doing the indie stuff with this, but then um, I'll also be streaming on Thursday nights around the same time, 7 p.m. Um, the stream kind of topic is mostly just random. It's kind of whatever I want to do that night with it. I've just kind of set that night aside with it. And there's a very good chance I'm going to pull up re reassembly again for it. This has been a lot of fun. Um, just because I've had kind of a decent amount of fun with it. So I might end up doing that as well. But I don't know how, at least if I'm going to stop soon or not. We'll kind of see. I want to give this. Oh, and I'm stuck. Hey! hey. I like the bigger, I like the, <laughs> I like the armor with it now, but I kind of miss my movability. All the resources ever.
Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. No. Ah, no. Oh, crap. No. Not good, not good, not good. No, 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 no. <laughs> And I get the narrow escape. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, come on. That's just mean. Oops. We got a thing here. Or <sighs> she. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, if he races over here, though. Screw you, shit. Go away. Nobody loves you. Go away. You're not loved. Stop attacking me. That is an interesting ship. And way more powerful than mine, my goodness. No, stop. Really here? Come on. Oh! Oh, that's just mean. That's just mean game. Come on. It wasn't drip that was ours or not? Thank God there's not friendly fire. Let's just start picking on ships that are my own, <laughs> my own size. <laughs> oh. Okay, what can we get now? That nothing came got in the factory yet. Person, charging.
<laughs> oh, what the? What the hell did I get by? I don't know, it killed me. That's a little depressing. <laughs> oh, alright. Well, with that, guys, I think we're going to cut it off pretty quick here. Um, So, that is Reassembly. Um, as I mentioned, you guys can find this game on Steam right now or under Early Access. Uh, it's thirty dollars on Steam for the early access. The game pretty much just entered the beta. Uh, I know there's a lot of new features and elements he wants to bring into it, including uh, ship sharing and ability to kind of showcase your different ships online, put them places with it. I know there's the ability to where he wants to be able to bring in secondhand ships so that they can start spawning, and so you could literally run into enemies that look like you know friendships or or uh, uh, other ships that people have made or similar pieces with it. And I mean, beyond that, you can see we've we've discovered very little of the map. There's a lot to it. There's wormholes you can go through. I mean, this is this is seriously just a very small piece that I've showed you, and it took me, you know, even a little bit of time to try to get those resources to get those upgrades. Uh, the game is pretty neat. I, I, if you like something kind of creative where you can kind of play around with it and, and use kind of your own intuition or imagination with it, I highly recommend the game, um, especially if you're a fan of like Minecraft and kind of like that creativity piece of it. It does a great job with it. But the game again is called Reassembly. Um, highly recommend you pick it up with it. And with that, guys, this has been our indie highlight. This is our, our third week in which we've done this. Um, started the series a little while ago with it. Having a lot of fun with it. If you have suggestions, thoughts, comments on either both the live streaming or YouTube videos that go up or anything else we're doing with it, please, please, please let us know. Um, we welcome any feedback. We want to hear what you guys think about this. I mean, we're, we're doing this for you guys. I mean, I enjoy streaming. I enjoy kind of putting this on and trying out the games. I mean, I'm going to play the game anyways. Might as well showcase it for much people to see. So, I mean, I definitely enjoy it, but we'd like to hear your feedback and know kind of what you guys are thinking. Beyond that, if you're catching this on YouTube or whatever, that, uh, please come uh, follow us on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash urbangamingelite. Please give us a follow. Um, we have a bunch of stuff we want to start giving away. Uh, we're looking at doing giveaways every 50 followers. We've got keys. You want to do them, but we got to get the people checking it out. Um, you can also, of course, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube as well. Otherwise, you can find all of the information about us. You can kind of find links to all those different pieces at urbangamingelite.com, which we'll have down in the description. With that, guys, uh, I was Red Gamer. Again, this is Reassembly for Indie Highlight, and thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.